so it is Christmas and what have we done continue to deceive ourselves and the young playing games of drama on the stage that Shakespeare set for us apparently imagining there to be value in paper and metal calling it money utilising it as currency for exchange because we can't trust each other with each other's needs turn it back on yourself aren't they I realised the other day doing a blog I wasn't doing a blog actually blog I don't even know what the word means blog be blog I was writing some words down about an experience that I've had with some machines that uh, had money left in them that wasn't mine until I took it out of the machine and put it in my pocket justifying it as well the person that left it there had gone the only people to hand it into were the owners of the machines in a business that was making extensive amounts of profit as they call it anyway and where was the money likely to go in the till to well perhaps it wouldn't be uh, declared as profit because it would go into the books as something or other and stay there as a piece of collateral that was not owned by anyone though was on the books and so was in the final figures at the end of the day that's the nature of accounting I guess how would I know I'm a dishwasher I wash dishes it's the best job I've ever had it's a skill that most don't even realise is existent try controlling the water when you're washing the dishes a big, big sink lots of dishes lots of water watch it splash around watch where we splash goes control it take some uh, skill I can assure you not to splash the water all around and around what's the point of this vlog? there is none it's at Christmas they call it the shortest day it'll be so short the world will end at the beginning of it apparently though I contend that if the Mayans knew when the end time was who knows where the beginning was if it was 26,000 years ago and they don't know who built the pyramids 5,000 years ago how do they know the start point of the Mayan calendar whenever it ends I mean they don't actually know when the age of Aquarius starts actually if it exists I don't know anything about it though Crowley once said to me one could benefit from knowing where one was in the universe by getting an understanding of the rotation of the planets as they spin around the central power source that we call the Sun the Son of God was apparently born at Christmas and three wise men brought gifts and therefore we buy gifts in recognition and
respect, is it? It's another word, it doesn't come to mind and so therefore must have been removed from existence by the wordsmiths. The reverse wordsmiths, the HD myths draw. The myths draw. The myths draw. So I contend with most people, me actually. It's not so much to contend, I just question. I question myself. You must. You cannot trust yourself, whatever trust is. Unless one knows oneself. Totally. And the revelations of what this organic robot is. Currently. Could there ever, ever be anything other than an organic robot? Possibly. Perhaps. Apparently. Maybe. I don't know. Though I do know that the experience that experience it has is or could be called an experience, whatever experience actually means. I haven't looked into the word yet. Fully. Though it does illustrate what one attempts to convey when one utilises such a term life after death it's the time of year to consider life after death it's a new routine that was conceptualised last year at this time at least if not before and why is it called life after death why is it not called after death why is it called after life and not after death? Because if it's the same as life after death, it'd be after death, not after life. No, if it was the same as life after death, it wouldn't be after life, it would be a continuation of life, the experience. Because I stated this year that death is only an observation the living make being that the experience either continues and therefore continues as an experience whether you want to call it life or not it's another matter you wouldn't be able to make a comparison until you got there so then you would then be comparing it with what you had before the moment of so called death which as an experience continuing could not exist to the experiencer or the experience ends and therefore cannot be experienced and therefore death does not exist it could be said that dying is an experience though if it continues as an experience after dying there is no dying as a continuation of the experience whatever that experience happens to be whether we wouldn't be well it'd be strange if it was physical although a non-physical experience could well apparently this is a hologram anyway so if it was a hologram that would suggest that the physicality well those that state that it's a hologram state that there is no physical existence in any how there is only spaces in between the molecules that apparently form physical material hologram that we I don't know what I'm talking about obviously do I need to? I fucking hope not really I hope not hope it's another word, a lot of words we have they're just words that have no real meaning or they mean something else like love love is about acceptance it's only about acceptance it's about giving not receiving beauty beauty is another word for acceptance a lot of acceptance is an important word from a number of perspectives for a number of reasons I'm not going into it at 
ten minutes in I'm going to end the confessions of a dishwasher leave it up for a few days till I realise it's a lot of blether that doesn't really illustrate my true nature in any way I'm not looking for friends I'm not looking to impress anyone I'm a YouTuber in my spare time when I'm not washing dishes I had an interesting experience yesterday I had a cataract removed from one of my eyes and well the main engineer well they wouldn't like any old Joe or Joanne to be taking the lens off my eye and replacing it with an implant apparently they uh, make an incision in it I saw the scalpel in negative just stick a couple of needles in your eye which is like the same sort of feeling you get when you go to the dentist and it sticks needles in your gums and then the abstract art, the colours the abstract art is the anaesthetist pressed down upon the eye to assist the anaesthetic to take hold and then they covered my head and the National Health Service wants to make some money they could put a camera above the lights and sell DVDs of the procedure because I'd even give them a fiver for one I might have even paid a tenner just to see what was going on um, the machine played tunes but apparently that softens the lens with sound waves and then they suck it off the eye and afterwards I weren't ready for the disorientation and the mild shock of what had occurred though I remember my grandma having hers done about 15 years ago and she said why didn't you tell me it was so dirty in here and we just laughed because we didn't notice anyway oh, I found a corner of a piece of bread this morning in the usual pathway between the kitchen and the living room it must have been there a while it was either a corner of a piece of toast or a corner of a piece of bread it's been on the floor. No mice up here. I live upstairs. Though mice can climb upstairs though. If they've got the right path. 